guys welcome to the video so if you guys saw this then you're just as excited about this as I am because today let's do my favorite thing we except it's not Target are going to Hobby Lobby so today's video obviously if you saw the title we are doing a front porch refresh fall vibes um, I've slowly been working on fixing up our front porch we have a huge French front porch porch and I repainted the storm door a while ago just been getting some things together but I've been really waiting <clears throat> to really decorate for fall and probably Christmas too my favorite time of the year I feel like you can't do much for spring or summer so I did pick up a few things um, earlier today at Kirkland's and at Home Goods, but the basics and the majority of our stuff is going to be coming from Hobby Lobby. So let's just stop chit chatting. Let's go ahead, get into the video. I got my mask ready to go, and I'm just going to show you guys hopefully what's there and then show you guys what I'm picking up and kind of just what I'm deciding. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not too busy in there, but you know, mask life. So you guys are ready. Let's go into Hobby Lobby. I got my stuff. I should have asked for a bag for this bigger one because it's filling, but I need to vacuum my car anyway, so we can ignore that. Got a couple things. Actually didn't get as much as I thought I would. Um, they have some good things, but I feel like they're bigger items and maybe slightly overpriced. I mean, I know it's Hobby Lobby and some things are amazingly priced and other things are kind of like questionable why they're so expensive. And then I felt like they had a lot of little things like I don't want little items on my porch. I want big items. I want big pumpkins. So I'm definitely going to get some real pumpkins to put out on the porch this year. And I still need to grab some flowers. And I think that'll kind of fill everything in. I'm probably not going to put all of this out today. And I will probably do it um, sometime this weekend. Because it's already later in the day. So kind of bummed about that. I got two pumpkins, which I was kind of hoping for more because I don't like buying pumpkins because they die, or they die, they go bad so easily and so fast, but I just felt like my biggest thing is wanting to get some hay. So I got one big, one medium, and one small. I'm not sure if I'll use the small, maybe I'll exchange it for a medium, another medium one, but we will see. Um, yeah, I just felt like there weren't a ton of options for like big front porch stuff, other than like big signs, and I don't need like five million of those. So. I will show you everything at home and I will check in with you guys and show you the stuff that I got earlier today. I got home, took my hat off because it's so hot. But I wanted to show you guys the front porch um, really quick. Probably not gonna do this stuff tonight, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what it's looking like. It looks really dirty right now. We got a storm a few days ago for like two days and the rain and the wind was so bad. And then I knew I was gonna be doing this so I didn't wanna come and um, clean if I was gonna have to clean a few days later so and honestly we don't use our front porch like at all so it still looks cute though and I want to show you guys how big it is so this is this so I painted our storm door black it was white and then got that hanger off of Amazon I'll link that it was like five bucks pick this up at like TJ Maxx or something. I did replace our doorbell I want to replace this but I just don't know what to do. Most aren't this big. Um, my dying fiddle leaf because I forget to water it. I grabbed these 
at I think Home Goods or TJ Maxx like last week when my mom was here. This one was 13 bucks and this one was 20 and I absolutely love them. They're so simple and I feel like they could be decked out a million and ten ways. This giant rug is off of Amazon. Um, and then this mat is off of is from Hobby Lobby as well. So love the leopard. Um, super cute. I made this sign a while ago. And then here is this as well. So this is kind of what the front porch looks like. It's really big and I got a lot to do with it. So I'm excited. Probably going to put the hay bales and stuff over in that corner. On because fall. So I want to show you guys what I got <coughs> at Kirkland's and wherever the heck else I went. So this is the wreath I got from Kirkland's. This is very fall-esque to me. Um, so I'm excited to put this on the front door. I've wanted this for so long. Um, I got this glass mug from Kirkland's too. This is so cute. Psycho. I'm telling you, she's psycho. I got this. Ooh, that's um, another one too. It was a little different. Um, from Home Goods, and it says leaves are falling, autumn is calling. So it's just like a big tag to me. I love this. I'll probably, well, I don't know. I have some ideas for it though. And then now when I got a Hobby Lobby, I left the hay bales in the car. I need to go back and get those. But I just got these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But these were, everything was 40% off. So these are originally $6. Um, I'll probably just like sprinkle them or put them in the, um, the lanterns I showed you guys. <clears throat> I got this little pumpkin pillow. I love the plaid. I mean, this is just screams fall. This one was $10. Again, 40% off. It's kind of small. And then I grabbed this white pumpkin, which I love. This one was $18. 40% um, off and then all else I got was this basket which you see these baskets absolutely everywhere they had different sizes but I thought the smaller sizes were way too small and just pointless so I got this I don't know what I'll do with it if I'll put stuff in it and then like put a pumpkin on top of it or get a mum or a fake mum but that's actually all I got like I said in the car I was looking I wanted pumpkins and they had some cute ones but the fabric ones, if we have a really bad rainstorm, like I showed you guys, we get some rain on the porch, just depending on the way the wind is going. Um, oh, Anyone else carry their kitty like a baby? Anyone else carry their kitty like a baby? And then pat the bottom. There's such your puppy dogs in. Um, but I just wanted to get pumpkins kind of like this white plastic one that would last a while. Like I, I hate my real pumpkins because I feel like they're very expensive and then they just don't last. Like I said this year I want to get a few because I like going to a pumpkin patch and I feel kind of obligated to buy one. But I don't want to get a lot and I don't want to carve them because they just don't last. And to me that's just not fun. I probably won't do much decor in here. Maybe something on the centerpiece or on some of the shelves. But I'm going to keep... The inside of the house pretty <coughs> neutral because I don't have everything that I want so um, I'll probably come back in a few days wearing something different because I do need to hit up a Lowe's to grab some flowers and um, I may go back to Hobby Lobby or get some pumpkins but I want to um, tell you guys so you see me next and I'm in a different outfit hello guys so it is about a day or two later and I'm about to get started on the porch. First I'm going to rinse everything down because it's so dirty. So I don't think this video is going to be finished right now as I'm doing this. I think I'm going to hit Target a little bit later um, and then I still need to go to Lowe's and pick up some flowers. So this part, this video is going to be within parts and I'll tell you guys each day that I'm doing it but um, the last time I did go out shopping yesterday or the day before I just didn't have enough time to get everything honestly in my head I was like oh I'm fine got home remembered I needed flowers and 
candles and just a little bit more stuff but I wanted to get this video started today so I'm going to start setting up and then that way I can kind of play with it some more but I'm still going to take you guys along so if you guys are ready then let's jump into my fall front porch makeover. Hi guys so I wanted to come on here and kind of just chat over the video and explain to you what I'm doing you know all the good stuff about this little next couple clips right here. So I started off by taking everything off the front porch and spraying it all down. Like I had said a little bit late, earlier, that had a storm roll through just a few nights before and we had so much rain. Of course, it pushed all the dirt up everywhere, bugs everywhere. So I really wanted to make sure that I started this spot off with a clean space. Um, and then right here, you can see I'm just putting some old decor into a bin. Uh, I decided to do that normally just stick it in a closet but I think keeping everything all like front porch outside decor in a bin is going to be the best bet for me because I can go ahead and know what's there nothing gets lost it's all in one place so I will even come as far down as spraying the sidewalk this is something that I grew up my with my dad always doing always spraying everything down I hate when I see dirt or bugs or anything like that our front of our house is definitely not where we want it to be, but we've been focusing on other parts of the house. So hopefully by next summer, um, we'll have a whitewashed house. Our yard will be a little more cleaned up, but for now I'm trying to focus on one part at a time. So here I am starting with the front porch. Like I said, I've already actually painted our storm door. So the part right here that is black used to be white. Um, and I saw it on an Instagram page and just loved it. I had messaged that lady and she said she actually bought the storm door black, but I just went, went ahead and went to my local Lowe's and I think I picked up just a, um, a primer, like a metal primer and then a metal paint and it was black and it was super easy to do. So of course, once I spray everything down, I'm always going to go ahead and take the broom and pr brush out any extra water. Our house kind of sits weird and water just usually sits everywhere but what i do like about these outdoor rugs um when w dirty water usually doesn't come up to this part of the house but if the dogs are in the front with me or they come through the front door with me and it's rained they have muddy dog paw prints um they will walk across it obviously what it's for and it'll get some mud on it so i always go ahead and spray that down and it cleans out pretty well as long as you don't let the mud or the dirt sit on it for too long so right here i'm putting up this wreath i absolutely love this wreath i've wanted it since we moved in um, i think it's gorgeous it's like 30 bucks from kirkland's but i used a 20 percent off and i think i paid like 26 or 28 bucks something like that so i was happy with that um the little hook that i have for it i got off of amazon for like five or six bucks so i'll go ahead and link that down below i believe it's just a black which i love um i think that makes it look nice especially with the storm door being black so right here i'm just pulling everything out i had it all sitting at the front of the house so I could go ahead and start sitting it out. So when I did this, I knew that I wanted this front corner right here to be where most of like the fall decor was, um, specifically the hay bales. Like you can see the our front porch is really big, but it's not like it's all one level or one length or one spot. There's me trying to dodge all the wasps flying around. So this is the part that sticks out more from the front of the house. And if you're driving by, you can definitely see all of it, but this is what you're really gonna be able to see. So I did grab that small one. I kind of wish I would have gone with like three or four middle piece, middle sizes um, or two big pieces and one middle, but this is what I grabbed. I kind of opened them up already and didn't really feel like going back and turning, returning everything. So I loved this little sign that I picked up from Home Goods. It was only 13 bucks. And then this little bucket, I really didn't know what to do with it. And I still really don't have a purpose for it, but I couldn't pass it up. I feel like anytime you look up front porch decor, or fall decor, you see pictures online during this time of the year, that basket is in everything. So I'll probably at some point buy a fake mum for that one and put it in there. But I love these little solar lights. Um, my mom actually picked these up for me for from Big Lots. And we were hoping that they were quite a bit bigger, like the lanterns that are by the front door. Obviously, they are not, but I ended up saving them for this time of the year, and I loved it. I think it came out perfect. 
with this, you kind of have to play around. And that's really what I did. I put things, moved things. I saw what I like. I even sent some pictures to my mom just to get a different view because it does kind of, it is hard and you have ideas in your mind and then they never work out or you're trying to recreate a picture and you don't like the way it turns out. So I wanted to keep this part right by the front door as simple as possible, but have lots of plants right here. Um, I love these lanterns. I picked these up a few weeks ago from, I believe it was a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx in the Frisco area, if you guys know where that is. The bigger one was $19.99, I believe, and the smaller one was like $13.99 or $12.99. And they are exactly what I had been looking for. Simple, sleek, black, and just a decent size. So loved those. And then obviously right here, my mums. I did not get the bigger ones. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a huge mum. Um, not with spending all the money I'd already spent. So maybe next year I'll go ahead and buy the mums that really fit in this. But... For now, this is what we have. So when you walk up, this is what you are going to see. There's still a couple sparse spots, but honestly, I've already spent like $200, I believe, on everything because I really had no fall decor, which all of this is stuff that I will reuse next year, but that's not what I was planning on spending. So for what I have, this is going to be it. Um, so let's start here at the front porch. This rug or this outdoor mat is from Amazon. Um, this leopard rug is from Hobby Lobby. And this top one I actually made. I do make doormats, but it is a little bit smaller. You can see the standard size is the leopard. So I just threw it under. Um, I don't know if I'll leave it like that, but for now, this is going to be my favorite part. So I spent probably um, $15 or so on all these pumpkins. They were 98 cents to a dollar between the dollar uh, spot at Target and then Walmart. Um, I did just spray all this down so it's wet, but this is what it looks like. Um, I love them. I think this is perfect for this one. I may put one more in the back and then try and add some more here. But again, 15 bucks I feel like was already a lot, but I really do like these fabric pumpkins. These are from Target. So I may just go and get some more of those because I think those are super cute. And then the white and the orange there are from Walmart. And then these little ceramic ones that I actually was going to return, but I think they work at the bottom or from Target as well. Um, I just have my normal pots. So I forgot to grab potting soil today when I went and picked these up. But I actually got these for $5 each at Walmart. They're not super big, but I was not about to spend $20 on each plant. Like I said, I've already spent quite a bit of money so you know we're not trying to you know we're kind of balling on a budget here um but i bought i think this one's red and this one's white just these really pretty mums hoping that they'll grow big and fluffy um and then coming over here i haven't done anything with this yet i do want to keep it because i feel like this bucket basket is really fall but i just don't know what i'll put here is my sign from home goods um, and I kind of left this all the same from when you last saw it except I switched out the pot the bigger pot here for this smaller one um, I felt like it just kind of fit a little bit better so this is a old outdoor pillow from Walmart Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby these little lanterns solar lanterns are from Big Lots and then the three hay bales are from Hobby Lobby the planter is from Hobby Lobby, or I'm sorry, from Big Lots. And then I did just get these really pretty autumn fall colors just to add some more realness to it. So this is kind of all we have now. I'm not sure what I'll do with this chair. And then since this is still kind of hanging on, I just kept it and I'll take it into the back after I'm done. But this is what we have. Um, I do have my Kirkland's wreath right here. I absolutely love this wreath. So I think this little spot right here is my favorite. But this is what I have. It was kind of a lot of money. Um, I would definitely recommend stockpiling every year and just adding when you can. And at the end of fall, I will definitely snag some more like little pumpkins and things like that to play with in the future. But for now, this is all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it gave you some inspo. Um, again, you don't have to buy crazy expensive decor to have a cute little fall set up for your front porch. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.